The coronavirus has crisscrossed the globe, but there is one place it has not touched, the International Space Station. We're hearing now about the unique experience of astronaut Jessica Meir, who just returned from nearly seven months aboard the space station. She spoke to Mark Strassman about coming home to a very different world. From 250 miles above Earth, astronaut Jessica Meir practiced what you could call extreme social distancing. Down below, a planet grappled with a contagion. There were only three people on the space station, and it was difficult for us to understand, wow, we are, of the seven and a half billion humans on Earth right now, we are really the only three people that aren't affected by this. That changed a week ago today. A Soyuz capsule brought Mir and two crewmates back to Kazakhstan. They landed on a planet in some ways unrecognizable from the one they left. We came back to all these masked faces. Was that your first corona reality check? Yeah, absolutely. The people pulling us out of the capsule, they were already wearing masks, so that was really the first human that we saw. While in orbit, Mir achieved a space milestone. She and astronaut Christina Cook performed the first all-female spacewalk last October. That is amazing. But long-duration space missions compromise an astronaut's immune system. So when Mir got back to Houston, she went into quarantine. Cook had to keep back. From a distance, we kind of could do a virtual hug. It's quite difficult for me. I'm, I'm, I'm a hugger, and now I've been up there for seven months, and I can't even hug people, so it's pretty difficult. Their employer, NASA, hopes its mission next month will leave the virus behind. SpaceX will send two NASA astronauts, Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken, to the International Space Station. Any professors? Yep. They'll become the first Americans launched from U.S. soil since 2011, when the space shuttle retired. But the corona threat may block their families from watching in person. I would have said emphatically yes, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, but I think we're all just kind of one day at a time in it at this point. And if not, they'll have to watch it from, from home, potentially. I, I, I honestly don't know. Jim Bridenstine, NASA's administrator, told us this launch will be different. Instead of descending on the Kennedy Space Center, this time what we're asking people to do is tune in, watch it on TV, watch it on the Internet, stay at home. This is a moment in time when all of America can come together in the midst of a pandemic and celebrate something positive. As for Jessica Meir, she has something to celebrate. After a week in a quarantine facility, she gets to sleep in her own bed tonight. Do you feel more isolated now than you did when you were orbiting the Earth? Yeah, I do, and I think that will that will come out even more once I do go home. On the space station, you're expecting that kind of isolation. That's just part of the experience. We train for it. We know it's there. Here on Earth, we're not used to that. Like all of us, she's getting used to a different world. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. Extreme social distancing indeed, Mark. Thank you very much.